Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is uh, September the 3rd on Thursday, uh, 2020 at Bear's Rod Shop. I told you uh, when I got back on the C3 uh, Corvette seats uh, patterning and uh, doing the uh, seat covers, I would show you how I pattern. This is uh, about 2.5 mil clear vinyl. Pick it up at your local uh, Home Depot, uh, Ace, or wherever. And instead of cutting the cover completely apart, like I showed you before, uh, they don't lay right. Even if you do hours of cutting them apart and you try to put them on chipboard, which is poster board, and then take pattern, it's much faster that we uh, just pattern from scratch. So I got my bride behind me, Sybil. Smile, please. Uh, she's holding up the seat cover. This is the C3 uh, 79 uh, bucket seat that we had listered in. Uh, now we're gonna get rid of those hog ring wires that pull down here. We use Velcro and it's already installed on this. And you'll see that we have these centers already done. We pattern half the seat. This is the right side over here. And uh, might be your left, but anyhow. Uh, we put all of our marks in here, our French seams, etc. We do one half and then we fold the, the plastic so we can cut it duplicate. Uh, most trim shops already know this, but for you DIY guys, this might help. So this plastic we use, and my preferred is this uh, 3M77. Now it's, uh, if you use it sparingly, it's a good tack to hold the plastic in place. And then you will make your patterns out of this clear that you can see through. And uh, so let's get started. We're going to be potter, uh, patterning out this nose piece right here. Uh, normally I would just spray the plastic. You can do either one. We're going to give a little tack here, a little tack here, and a little tack here. Very little. And we're going to lay this plastic. I already went ahead and took the trouble to cut out a piece. We'll go wild. We, we want to be able to get in the center here when we do our marks. And then we're going to cut release. So this thing will lay flat. And we'll cut release over here all the way down. I already know where I'm uh, headed with this because I've got this dotted line. You don't have to draw solid lines, but it, this plastic has to lay perfectly flat so you don't have any puckers and we'll cut some release. Won't cut them right to it. That way we'll have a little bit of movement, but that lets this plastic lay as flat as a pancake. Yes, there's going to be some natural wrinkles, but you're going to have stretchy, you know, either leather, a little bit of stretch. And then we'll tuck this in. And then we'll take our Sharpie. Here's our center line. And then here is the center line right here of the Velcro. We're going to come over here and we're going to do half a pattern. Now we will have to uh, come along here. We're just going to dot this line. Connect the dots. So when you're cutting your patterns, you don't have to have a massive bunch of lines. Okay. Bride letters lean down a little bit here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of tack. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to let this naturally relax and come down. 
Here's our center line. Hopefully you can see this. And we're going to do center line. And I'll dot this just like I did on the uh, foam bun. Don't want to put too much on here because you never want your marker to come through. Now this is black, uh, you know, how a hospital grade vinyl that's going on, just like leather. It it won't transfer through. If you if I'd have used uh, red or pink or whatever, it would have transferred through. So this is going to be the right. I've already made my marks here, and again, I'll put an extra center line so you guys will know. So this is laying nice and flat. I don't have to pattern this. I'm going to fold this pattern, this plastic in half, and I'm going to trim it till I have a duplicate on the other side. And we're going to go up here, just like this. And we're going to come down, and right here, this is what is called the pull line. There's a wire that I'm going to be hogging to right here. So I'm going to end up coming right here and I'm going to put this mark. Don't have to be perfect because you're going to end up folding in half. And this is PL. Pull line. Now I'm going to mark plus uh, one and a half. That's what the uh, I'm going to need to require to get down to here. And that's going to be the uh, hog stay that it gets sewn to here. So this is pull, pull line. Make you a good clean mark. And so this is the first part. Uh, you will see that I have numbered these. And I use uh, A, B, because this is a pillow by itself. B, C is a pillow by itself. And then this is D. Now, of course, I already marked it through. Now, this is south. Uh, you can mark it uh, like a, you would a ship, but this is south. And I'll put this here, S which means the nose if you can see this nose all right now this is north which is the top you can do it any way you want and feel comfortable with it all right over here we have laid out where the french seam is going to end up and i have to do plus uh, i know in my mind what it is five eighths now that's seam allowance, plus five eighths. So when I put that in, if I do a half inch, uh, it's hard to do with the double uh, post and put the uh, stay behind it and sew it down. I do five eighths and I allow for that up here. Okay, so mark all your patterns. Now this is here is, if you can see this, now mark this as the top part of the side bottom uh, inside bolster. You don't have to write out everything. In means inside bolster. And this is the outside bolster right here. But uh, then I will take this off, lay this over, and then I will pattern this A and B and C and put those over to the side. And then I'll come back in here. This is going to be, I didn't mark it, we're going to be E dash R. E dash R. That means it's the letter E, the next piece on the right hand side, and uh, F, and this is R. So we don't get mixed up. What, all you have to do is pattern one half. Some guys like to pattern both halves. Uh, this is a symmetrical seat right and left of the bottom on the C379 uh, Corvette. So it wouldn't matter if, uh, now if it changed shapes, yes, you would have to, you know, make sure you did all your uh, patterning right. But, uh, 
this will get and I will mark this this is going to get a half inch uh, scrim so I just put a half inch foam this up here is going to get one eighth it doesn't need a lot of foam all it does is take care of and I use headliner one eighth foam and I do not lister it to the material I only sew it in and that way when it stretches it doesn't show any uh, like crimping if you was to glue that uh, and put your fingers on there and squeeze down then it's gonna leave fingerprint so that's not listed neither is this listed to the material uh, neither is uh, you know the bondi right here this part so we hope this helps uh, we have the backrest here that goes up above it let me turn the camera we've already started patterning not 100 percent yet but this one will get the hog wires on this one because it's much easier to do this one here on the bottom reason i chose to do velcro is to not fight the wire and cause puckers and stuff and i can then release it but this one right through here will get the wire hog and up to about here that way i pull it down i tuck it good and then i can stretch over the side uh bottom band let's turn this around a little bit dear once this gets around the french seams in this piece side uh, bottom bolsters is sewn in then it comes over and here is where it hogs to i will end up putting a uh, hog ring stay sewn to the material but i use the wire that is flexible and it gives me much more liberty than that original gm hard wire uh, it works the same identical and then uh, a lot of times I'll come in here on the back side and I will make a uh, like a dart so I can get rid of uh, you know puckers and stresses and stuff and I will end the wire right up in here uh, here on the back side as this comes over the top this is a uh, lighter piece of fabric uh you know vinyl that will pull over and then it will hog here and so that will be hogged all the way around the back we hope this helps for you guys DIY on any upholstery uh these corvette uh you know c3 and the 79 80s uh they're a little bugger and we went through that on the another video but uh Please, uh, any comments, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Uh, we'll be glad to answer any comments. And uh, so this week we're going to finish up uh, doing on the C3. We're waiting on the embroidery to come back uh, for this headrest right here. This gets a really nice embroidery C3 logo in this section. I'll give it to him on Saturday and uh hopefully you'll have it out here by maybe tomorrow uh but there'll be a logo in here and when we get a little further along after we have sewn up the covers and stretch them and uh, show you a little bit how the finished product's going to look again thanks sam for helping that's the boss back here give us a thumbs Th up and a like yep sometimes we'll sometimes she thumps me so i got my ball cap on today and uh see you next time yeah and hopefully uh y'all come back and visit please any comments give us a a uh, comment and we'll try to answer it as soon as we can have a great weekend uh COVID, get out of here let's go back to work america see you later